So yeah, I fell through the ice. Now you might ask, what was I doing out on the ice in the first place? Don't I know that's dangerous? And the answer would be yes. And what I was doing out on the ice in the first place was rescuing Piper because she went in first. I went out, uh, I heard her out there. I, I, I actually didn't even know it was her. I just heard a weird noise. And I was starting to figure out what kind of an animal it was. And then I saw her in the water trying to crawl up on top of the ice and she couldn't get up. And I know how cold that water is. I mean, it's, it's freezing. So I wanted to get her out as fast as possible, but I, I didn't know how. I, she was out on the ice, right on the edge of the river flow. Um, that ice would not hold me. I mean, if it didn't hold her, it's not going to hold me. Um, so the, I didn't have a boat ready. I mean, I, there's no way I could have got a boat in the water and over there quickly enough. Um, so I did the only thing I figured I could do. I went back and I got the toboggan from the garage uh, and proceeded to skid out onto the ice so that I could get close enough to um, attach a leash to her and pull her back up. And that worked. I got right up to the edge. I got close enough to be able to put the clip on her leash went back a little ways and pulled her up and she got out just fine and uh, I let her go and she was you know, quite happy to be rescued for one and I started to go backwards to try and head back towards shore and that's when the ice buckled underneath me. So yeah, I knew it was a possibility that I would be going in the water. Uh, with some forethought, I had put you know, the car keys and my phone and everything away uh, so that they wouldn't get wet, just in case I fell in. Um, but it wasn't just falling through into a couple feet of water. I went in up to my chest. I mean, I was you know, right below my shoulders in water um, and mud. The the bottom of the river is like it's mud on top of quicksand uh, and there's no foothold it's it's a couple of feet deep of just gooey icky black smelly mud and uh, it was i mean i was having a hard time trying to get out of it and trying to pull myself up on the ice that was still there um, I had the toboggan so that I could lay the toboggan out in front of me and try to climb up on that. And when I did that, more ice broke off, and then I would have to try and move the ice out of the way. Um, and it was scary. Um, my legs started to hurt and then go numb. Uh, my fingers went numb. Um... And I was having that thought of, this is how I die. Um, there, all the neighbors were gone. You know, they were out working and doing their daylight, day life things during the day. Um, so I was able to keep going and breaking off chunks of ice until I got to a point where the ice was strong enough that I was able to pull myself up and sort of roll onto the toboggan um, and that held and so I started trying to move the toboggan and get it headed toward shore so that I could you know slide my way forward and then we got to a place where the ice was thick enough that I could actually stand and walk back. Um, you can see the footprints where I walked back and they're very muddy. <laughs> um, I don't know that my boots will be, will ever be the same. Uh, they were completely filled with mud and 
water and just completely soaked. Um, the um, I would got my clothes off in the bathroom. Uh, was able to take a shower, get the clothes in the washer, uh, and you know, feeling started coming back. It was, you know, all the numbness and, and fatigue. And it's very real. Uh, I was in the water for maybe 15 minutes. Uh, and I mean, it was when I got out of the water, I could barely walk, I could barely stand. I was so weak. Um, I was freezing cold and sweating at the same time from the exertion. Um, it was, it was scary. I mean, it was less scary at the time because I was in the middle of the situation trying to get out of it. But um, after, you know, getting back and everybody's okay and um, sitting down, uh, it kind of hit. And so it's been kind of coming on of how uh, how scary that was. Um, everyone's fine. Uh, Piper is very, very happy with me right now. Um, and we're okay. Uh, I, I do want to try and keep the dogs off the ice. I've been trying to do that all the time uh, because this is, this is dangerous. The river is dangerous. Um, I mean, thin ice is dangerous in general, but, uh, yeah. So, I've had the experience. And you can, I never want to do that again. Uh, all right, so I got more stuff coming. Uh, I'm trying to get stuff done. Uh, but I'm a little shook up right now, so um, I'll see you guys next time.